now standing on the top of Crowhorn, way out 200 miles from home, on Ackle Island, County Mayo on the west coast of Ireland. And the views up here, absolutely unbelievable. I'm 700 meters above the sea down there. Down there is Keem Bay, voted one of the top 10 most beautiful beaches in the world. I've wanted to come here for a long time because we want to make a video with Mike. Hey. There he is. I hope you're ready to uh, enjoy Steve and trying to pronounce Crohan as much as I've enjoyed it throughout the day. Yeah, my pronunciation of some of the local place names has been quite poor, and we'll, uh, we'll 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 maybe get into that later. But let's rewind back to the start of the day, and you can join us on our epic voyage that starts at the abandoned village. <laughs> There'll be no flags and no bond. Possibly the best looking lady here. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely going in here. Him being French, he grew a lot of garlic. There's this massive crack. Right, so that's everybody thoroughly offended. I think so, yeah. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> that is epic. Oh, they just lost their bearings. I, I put I put back cross-border relations. <laughs> <laughs> It's horrible, but it's beautiful. I had a really bad idea. You do my intro sound and try and do a, nor a Northern Irish accent, and I'll try and do an intro as you. That sounds like a great idea. Do, 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 do. Hello, dear. I'm Michael, and I'm standing here out in Ackill Island. Hello, Hello. I'm Stephen Reid. <laughs> so I live here up in Northern Ireland, and Ackill is over 200 miles away on the west coast. Out in County Kerry, on the west coast of Ireland. I make funny faces. And I'm here today with this fella. As I'm running up ridiculous mountains. Because you can't trust those fellas. You, you, you look away, five minutes later, they're occupying land, left, right, and centre. A lovely so. little beard. Bird? Bird or beard? Beard. Beard. Bird. 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 And if there's any hint, any, any sign that looks like he's starting a plantation, we'll put an end to it. Just outside from Balamina, just outside Belfast. And there'll be no flags and no bonfires. And no surrender. <laughs> right, so that's everybody thoroughly offended. I think so, yeah. <laughs> I think so, yeah. <laughs> Serious intro. I'm here with Magic Mountain Mike. No, just Mountain Mike. Just, ma just, Mike. just, <laughs> just Mountain Mike. We're I say no, just Magic Mountain Mike. <laughs> Ackle Island, west coast of Ireland. I'm 200 miles away from home. Well, believe it or not, we were supposed to do this beautiful hike and we were supposed to see absolutely beautiful sights. But believe it or not, Colin Farrell decided to ruin our fun. He's bloody filming over there. We we're supposed to be camping tonight. We can't get down there. So um, we're just kind of winging it. So we'll have a hike, stick out a load of drone footage, and I'm sure you'll like the video anyway. And we'll try and see if we can sneak up and call Farrell. Maybe a few dances. Maybe. The By the way, does anyone think that Mike kind of looks a little bit like Captain Haddock from Tintin? Oh. I do have a photograph of Mike looking like Mrs. Doubtfire, which is definitely <laughs> going in here. <laughs> Less than half a mile into the hike, somebody may have forgotten their water bottle. There is a part of me kind of wished you'd forgotten it. <laughs> Would it be in the video more dramatic? Michael has forgotten his water bottle. He is now drinking out of a ditch. I'm 
We are in the deserted village in Ackle Island. This was the home of uh, many, many villagers on the island. Uh, this, I believe, was their winter uh, quarters. It's a bit sheltered with your two mountains either side. Can't get over how big this uh, abandoned village is. It's absolutely massive. There must be, what, well over 100 houses up here? 300? That's crazy. last family that actually lived here and they actually moved out in 1935. Wow. And, um, oh, that's mad. That's... That's them. That's yeah. the family now. Yeah. To come to visit where I'm presu Well, they moved out in 1935. I'm assuming yeah. these ones with the, yeah, <laughs> with the yeah, white yeah. hair. Uh, they went to America wow. and this was actually, they were brought back and this is this was actually their first, since 1935, this yeah. is, that was their first time viewing the house where they grew up. Wow. Excuse me. Hello. Any sheep seen Colin Farrell? Tell me to get off the beach. I'm just trying to casually get a shot of that rock there. And he's like, oh wait, wait, I'll do a jump through it, I'll do a jump through it, it'll look really cool. <laughs> you know what, I'm glad I got that entire thing in slow motion. <laughs> Apparently this is a Napoleonic fort, which assume means it was built by Napoleon. Is that right? I'm glad he fell for it. So before Napoleon was <laughs> exiled to St. Helena, he was actually sent to Ackle Island to live in this tiny house as punishment. But the locals weren't happy uh, because him being French, he grew a lot of garlic, stunk up the place, so they made him leave. I've offended the French. What more off the list? Yeah, so the French invaded uh, uh, just past, uh, you see, you see, you see the, the, the Mullet Peninsula in Balmullet? But yeah. just, just past that again, just north of that, um, a number of French ships docked in North Mayo and during the 1798 rebellion um, came down, invaded through Mayo and won a, won a victory in, in Kesselbar and they moved further inland but before, the, before they finally got defeated. So that's why, the, that's why the tower was put there during the Napoleonic era because Napoleon was actually thinking about um, invading Britain through Ireland, I think. <laughs> I jumped over. I jumped over. Like I left my bag, I had to go back for it, and fell coming down.
massive crack in the ground here. It's where this like headland or cliff behind me has been tearing away from the land. If we went up there and jumped up and down for long enough, this will just tear away and plunge us into the ocean. I reckon we can do it. Put your back into it. Is it moving? Uh, yeah, you're getting there. Here we go. for slightly too long with my drone and it just did a forced landing. Please don't be in water. Landed here. Puddle. <laughs> right, not doing that again. Up there. Up to the top of Croke Donut. What do you call <laughs> Cro what do you call Crow Crow I c I can get Crona out of my head now. Crohan. <laughs> really, really shouldn't tag Akal Island's tourism. <laughs> so we are heading on up this direction to see the cliffs of Crohorn. 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 And try to get back up. You know what's good when Steve's voice goes pitch high. <laughs> Whoa. Absolutely epic. So that's Ackle Head. That's Ackle Head. Way, way out there. And down that direction, you can just about see it. That is Caden Beach. Much thanks to Colin Farrell who for appearing in my vlog. He's down there filming at the minute. We were planning to camp down there. We can't camp down there. You can just about see him. He's probably like a pixel high. Hi Colin! Hello there. Absolutely stunning beach. One of the most beautiful beaches in the world. It's in the top 10. So we're standing nearly 700 meters now above the sea. I don't think 
I've ever been so high up, so close to the sea. Look at this. Look at this. That down there is exactly what FPV drones were designed for. And mine is a mile away in the car. One of the great things about remote locations like this that Mike told me is you barely run into other people. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Bumped into these two. Let them introduce themselves. Hello. Hello. I'm Howard. <laughs> Kat. <laughs> from, and, uh, uh, yeah. Joining from Norway. And they're having a fun time and I just awkwardly point at the camera at them. Yeah. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy your we'll hike. Bye. <laughs> See you. See you later guys. Thanks for bringing me up here, Mike. It's beautiful. You're welcome. <laughs> we'll hike back down. We're going to visit a crash plane crash site and then go and find somewhere to camp for the night. We're on our way down now and I predict, I predict we're about to get another history lesson from Mountain Mike because look what we've just come across. From what I know, it was an RAF uh, reconnaissance plane that was uh, heading down towards Kerry and on its way back there was a very low cloud and they just lost their bearings and they just came straight into the mountain and all crew, all eight crew members uh, on board died. I think there was eight. Um, that's about as much as I know. When was it? Uh, 1950, I think. 1950. And in that cheery note, we'll head on and find somewhere to camp. There's the car. We're nearly back. Should have been camping on Keane Bay, but Colin Farrell and his chums rolled up, kicked us out of the beach. Colin Farrell. Yeah. 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 One hour later. Something incredible is about to happen. Mike is about to, for the very first time, try a 15. You can't get these in the south. These, they're like Northern Irish thing only. So they brought these down. You've never even heard of them. And he's going to try one for the very first time. <laughs> Alright, I'm a bit scared, but here we go. <laughs> oh, they're actually quite nice. Like they're strange, though. It's a blend of marshmallows, yeah, digestive biscuits, condensed milk, cherries, and coconut. So basically, it's someday some old one had a load of random <laughs> stuff in her cupboard <laughs> and just, just threw them all in with a load of digestive biscuits. <laughs> This would have been, if you had said you hadn't liked them, that would have been the most offensive thing you've said the entire day. <laughs> I'd, 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 put, I'd put back cross-border relations a hell of a lot. Years. <laughs> Years. Good morning. <laughs> I look insane. I can see myself on the screen. I just woke up. Let me show you where we camped. Ugh. There's a strange man out there. <laughs> Great, you ruined my shot. <laughs> Look at this world's smallest tent. 
Oh, look, <laughs> look horrendous. <laughs> this is where we camped last night. Where are we? Keel? Uh, yeah, Keel is just there, so we're just in the, on the lake behind Keel. We camped in a field of sheep. <laughs> Surprised they didn't come murderers during the night, but yeah, this is like weird, like flat sand dune type ground, and then there's a mad lake in the mountain in the background. Sleeve more, and then Crohan, we ca I camped, hiked. This is the way up there, somewhere. Yeah, this is my tent. This is a Rab Ridge Raider. It's not the biggest. <laughs> it's basically a hooped, a hooped bivy. But I'll, uh, yeah, I'll do a video about it sometime after I've used it. I got it for like ultra light adventures. I'm freezing. Right, I'm gonna put on some clothes and then. I'm too tired for this. Okay, all packed up, back to the car, and uh, Mike's gonna take me to see one of Ackle Island's more curious tourist attractions. That is insane. So, you've heard of Stonehenge. Well, what people don't know is that Ackle Island has its very own version of that. It's massive! That's crazy. There's a concrete monstrosity built by a property developer furious at the government. There's a developer that got angry at the government. He built a concrete replica of Stonehenge <laughs> in, one, in one day. And it stand it stood there. But because because it's become such a tourist attraction, yeah. the council have been forced to leave it up. That's brilliant. And the same guy actually rammed a concrete truck through the gates of, 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 of Parliament in, in, in here 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 in the Republic. So <laughs> interesting character. It's horrible, but it's beautiful. <laughs> And there you have it, Acklehenge as seen from the air in sort of kind of shaky FPV footage. Probably a suitable place to end. We started out in a ruined village, ruined abandoned village. We ascended to stunning heights above the sea, incredible views. And now we end it in a concrete monstrosity. <laughs> Mike, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for being my guide. Definitely go and check out Mike's YouTube channel, which is... Uh, Mountain Mike's Adventures. Mountain Mike's Adventures. <laughs> go have a look on Mike's channel, which is here. He's also on the Instahams. And uh, yeah, feel free to subscribe. And we're gonna go and eat a lot of, what do you promise me, bacon and pancakes? Bacon and double, or bacon and double pancakes? Pancakes and double <laughs> bacon. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> bye. That'll do. Thank you. Thanks a million. Talk to you later. Come on, cheers.